Hi everybody, I'm Joni Lester and you're on Elevated Living at elevateme.org and today is the day we lift. We're continuing our mindset series and yesterday we talked about positivity and how far you can go with a positive attitude and a positive optimistic outlook. Now I want to talk about locus of control. Now why is that important and what is that? Well, locus of control is really our ability to be responsible for ourselves. It has more to do with your outlook, though. And some of us believe that we can affect change in our environments. We can affect change in our lives, in our families, in our occupations. We believe that our control is, to some extent, external, and that we can control some of the circumstances and the things around us. Now, there are people who believe that they can't control any of their circumstances or any of their environment and that life kind of just happens to them. So I guess the shortened version would be, do you have control over life or does life have control over you? And I think the best answer, I think the best answer is that there's a little bit of both. There's balance. And if you really honest with yourself, there are some things about yourself and your environment that are outside of your control. And then there are things that are well within our realm of control and mastery. And you have to exert the power and the pressure and the energy appropriately. Now I can't control how tall I am. I can't control my eye color, not without using cosmetics. I can't control, you know, the length of my arms or certain things that are outside my control. I just can't control how fast my heart beats without doing something like exercising really hard or introducing a chemical. But I can control my weight. I can control my speech. I can control the words that I use. I can control the friends I hang around. I can control what type of environment I create to live in. Those are things that I can control. So one of the things that I think will really help with our mindset is to determine what is our locus of control. What do we believe? Do we believe that life happens to you? You have a predetermined destiny that you can not affect, that no matter what you do, you just have no control over. It's going to be what it's going to be. Or do you believe that you have the power to change, that you have the power to shape, to mold, that you're truly a creative being? and that the choices you make will have specific consequences that will define your outcomes. Consequences don't necessarily have to be bad. They can be good. A consequence of exercising and eating right is often looking good and feeling good. That's the kind of consequence that I want to experience. So we have to decide, are we masters of our destiny or are we just puppets in a an already established planetary alignment just moving along until our time is up. Well, I'd like to think that there's a little bit of a balance. That there are some things that I think I might be meant to experience and there are some things that I definitely make happen for my life. This has been Elevated Living on elevateme.org. I'm JL. This has been your daily lift. And until we next connect, I'm wishing you the very best of life. Talk to you later.